Generic greetings, prisoner number 7253 something something that's really small, 443 I believe, uh, Sriza? Sriza? It could be Kaiser, like in uh, Fallout, Fallout New Vegas. Anyway, this prisoner, welcome to your new home, hopefully for not too long because our plan is to escape from it. Now, this is the prison we've spent the last two months making, approximately 17 plus hours to make the darn thing. I released the save file in the previous and last construction episode and a lot of people have already got back to me with improvements on it and said, oh, I've made these changes, etc. And most of them are improvements. A lot of them have just changed like the tiles and said, look, it looks really pretty, which is fair enough. If you want to do that, that's completely up to you. That's why I give you the save file in the first place. But anyway, we want to escape from this thing, and that is some holes in the wall. I'm fairly sure I fixed that in the last episode. Or rather, that was already fixed. That's just weird. I don't know. That's um, that's something I might have to look at and update the, uh, update the save. But anyway, what we want to do is escape from this prison. Now, because it's such a big prison, we actually have quite a number of options because there's a lot of areas for tools and weapons and equipment so we could try and do an escape via tunneling, we could try and do escape via blitz, escape via violence and just bash our way out. There's many ways we could actually do this. I think however because, and this is a bit weird and uh, I'm saying this, because I'm um, semi-competent at making a, a prison that can actually hold some amount of prisoners, it's going to be quite difficult because we've got a lot of uh, dogs which can smell uh, smelly things, and because we've got a lot of metal detectors all over the place, there's not many... Why am I getting searched? There we go. Uh, because there's a lot of places where we can steal contraband and a lot of places that detect it, I don't think we're going to be able to nick a lot of stuff. We could, I don't think we can tunnel out. I don't think that's going to be uh, anything we can do because we can't actually make any uh, digging implements. We can go over to the far right, either top and bottom, and grab ourselves uh, some digging tools, but even but then because of the uh, two sets of metal detectors, I'll show you now. Hang on, just have to go up here and then out. Speed up to max speed so we can run a bit faster. Because of this, I don't think there's any way we can get out. Metal detector, metal detector, patrol around here. It's not going to happen. Just not going to happen. Going in there, we can steal some tunneling items, but we're never going to bring them back. And because you can't make them as far as I'm aware, in this thing, which is a bit of an oversight, but uh, that's like the escape game, I guess. Uh, because we can't make them, we really can't tunnel out that way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go full ultraviolence, and even though I look like a... <laughs> Am I just playing some sort of 80s porn star? I mean, with the hair in the tash. It's like some sort of boogie nights. Anyway, um, right, we need to take out some of these uh, people and go full ultra violence and take these out, farm some experience, and see if we can escape that way. So let's just attack these people here. And look, oh, I'm actually attacking them while they're getting healed by the other doctor. So I'm just going to keep uh, sort of hitting away there, and we've now got some experience. So they've all come from for their... Um, I guess it would be, let me end the fight there and actually drop that implement as well. Looks like they've come for their, probably treatment. It's probably some sort of uh, pharmacological treatment to drug addiction. But uh, I'm guessing that they came in and went, oh, there's uh, two doctors dead. And I'm just there going, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they go, uh, okay, uh, I didn't see nothing. And then just walked out. So that's okay for me. Uh, I've dropped the, the implement as well, so I'm not incriminated. Not that you are, you understand. You don't ever get knocked up. Hang on, I didn't want that. I didn't want that. Let's put that down. Um, I want to pick up this. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Yes, so anyway, as I said, um, you don't get knocked up in your, uh, your rating. So I'm currently a standard risk prisoner, but it doesn't ever increase, even though you can do, like, multiple homicide, multiple murders and all of that sort of thing. It never, ever increases, which is always uh, a, bit, a, bit, a, bit, a bit confusing. But anyway, um, you, you know, you never get put on death row. That would be an interesting one, escape mode and death row. I don't know how that would actually work. But anyway, what I'm doing is go to reputations. I want to get deadly and then go up to double deadly. In fact, we might as well get one of every single one. There we are. And then what I want to do is see if I can take this guy out. So, damn it, I hit him once and I immediately got tased. I'm going to click skip punishments and then we'll go out. As I said, my objective is to farm experience. So, I'm going to go down here and there's no guard. So, what I'm going to do is just quickly attack all these. Now, it doesn't take much to attack these. Literally one bat and then you're done. Come on, just keep attacking them. 
There we go. Sometimes it hits them, sometimes it doesn't. It's a little bit glitchy, but uh, we're taking all these out. So there's all of them. I'm going to go down here and then hit these, all these. Now, obviously, there's a lot of water coming everywhere, but it is in the shower, so it's not going to cause any any bother. All we're doing, really, we don't even need to hit it. We just need to go and turn the water on. But we've got 20 experience so far, reputation points. There's a guard. What I'm going to do is charge over this side, and then we'll end the fight, and then say... Uh, excuse me, mate. Excuse me. Uh, over the right, over the right hand side there. There's uh, loads of water. You might want to sort that out. And then we're just gonna kick, punch him in the head because we can, and then we'll run away. <laughs> I just thought I'd want to punch the, punch the arm guard in the head, and then we'll end the fight, and we've got away. We've got away scot free. <laughs> that was a bit of a risky one, wasn't it? Look, man, I'm, I'm on half health. He shot me. Um, is that Al? Yeah, Al. There's um, Al Lindsay. He's the um. He's gonna say the artist. No, he's the sound sound designer, I believe. The guy does all the sounds for it. Is that right? I think it might be right. Meh meh. Or is he one of the programs? I don't know. He's involved with IV uh, somewhere or another. Right. Uh, so we'll charge. Now, you know you've played too much of the game when you reckon when you recognise the uh, the name and the people in it. Right. So we'll charge up, and I think what we'll do we'll do a bit of farming over in this common room here because there shouldn't be shouldn't be anyone here. Um, oh, there's an armed guard there. That's that's not good. What I'll do then? I'll walk past him, and um, hopefully my uh, <laughs> I imagine over the radio. Yeah, yeah. Look, look out for a guy that looks like he's from the seventies. Yeah, yeah. He's he's been punching people in the head. Yeah, watch out for him. Um, what I'm gonna do is just start taking these out here. So just to find a bit of experience. There we go. It looks like, however, I'm gonna get caught. And there's the taser. It missed. It did miss. I don't care. I'm gonna keep running. I've got deadly, so I can actually just. Oh my good grief! That was deadly. And then batter him. And uh, we're gonna pick up this this thing here, and then we're gonna keep hitting him. Come on, come on, come on. Remember, I've got deadly sword. Damn. There's a chance of every time I hit him, he dies, and exactly what happened there, I just went up to him and punched him in the throat or something. I'm going to skip the punishment, and then that's good because it actually heals us up as well. So we are now back in here. A lot of prisoners are being escorted around the place. It, you can actually hear the um, the sound of people being a bit annoyed. You can hear the uh, like ching, 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 and other noises like that in here. Like that guy there. So I'm an instigator. If I get another instigator point, like that, right? And I just go, hi, mate. Punch him in the back of the head, which didn't work. Come on, let's just keep attacking, and there we go. We've now managed to... Aha, uh -huh. taser, and taser him. Excellent, right. So, not only am I instigating this, I'm now attacking him. Oh, God, that's a shotgun. Run away, run away, run away. Oh, no, 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 no that didn't work out. Okay, uh, skip the punishments once again. <laughs> so, um, you know what? This seems That seemed to be working. If I just keep hitting him, what I might do is just absolutely tool my character right up to the max. So I've got all of the reputations maxed out. You can't get them any higher than that, I believe. No. What that means is that I can just go up to people like this and then just go, go batter like that. And because I can survive it, I can then start attacking. Although I have accidentally attacked the wrong person, but I'm going to keep running. And you're unconscious. You're now dead. That's a gam guard. Let's see if I can take them out. Come on, come on, come on. You're dead. Pick up the shotgun. Not taser. I've got that now. I'm going to pick up the shotgun. And there's a dog. There's a dog gone. Who else wants to do it? Come on. Come on, then. You can you can go. I'm instigating the full lot. You can get taken out. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Um, Let me drop that. It's not me. It's not me. It's not me. It's not me. Definitely not me. Um, What's happened there? I'm going to drop all of these. Damn it. What's happened there is that... Uh, <laughs> the, you, hear, you hear it go click. And that's because uh, you now have a maximum amount of shotgun shells. Like, you have a maximum amount of ammo. You do actually run out of ammo, so you can't just go into the armory and nick everything and then happily just escape that way. It doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Right, what I want to do is go around these places. Um, the silly thing is, none of them have been like instigated. None of them are like going for full fight, which is interesting. How that guy? That guy must have been. Ah, that's problematic. One, two, three people that were running down here, and they're dead. Is that sniper? To blame. I think they are. I'm going to pick up this here, and while that guard is in the bed, I'm going to do a bit of coup de gras. He's now dead. There we go. And what we'll do, we'll just hit all these things here. Farm a bit of experience. And I'm tasered, but it's not going to matter too much, because I've got uh, really good stats. So there's another one dead. There we go. Look, I'm happily just taking all these out. The dog, however, is going to keep going. There's another one dead, and then there's the taser. So again, skip punishments. We've now got a total of 40 reputations. So what we want to do 
I want to start recruiting some people. So we'll have a quick look. There's Clark. He's strong. There's someone in there who's tough. Look at that. He's lifting. Yeah, you can come with me. Um, also, he has a very similar look to me. <laughs> so, right, that's okay. I've just thought it. We need to get everybody that looks roughly similar. So if we get shot at, um, you know, they're hopefully going to mistake one person for the other. So what I'll do, I'll press R. So I'll, as you go, no, nah, no, nah, don't worry, mate. You crack on with your thing. So we all need to get the same sort of look. Uh, so that means running around and see who we can get. Is that guy got the same sort of look? Uh, no, he is not. So what we're looking for are people with fairly big hair um, and with a with a tash. With a tash. That's what we're looking for, right? So we'll have a quick look around, see what we can find. We haven't busted into the uh, the high the, the the death row area, and I don't think I really want to. You can hear hang on, is that one? No, no, no. It's got a bit of a tash. You! Oh yes. Rogers. So we got um, we got, uh, what, Bart Flower? Something like that. And Rogers on our side. Excellent. Okay. So, we've got a full cast going here. Let's just see if we can look around. I've got 36 more points remaining. Oh! See that? Start, started um, fighting for some reason there. I don't know why. So, I'll have a look in the dormitory. Looks like there's nobody in here, really, because they're all working. Uh, while we're at the top, we might as well do a bit of farming. So, we'll just, just punch these a little bit. There we go. And then punch these. There we go. And then we'll charge up to you and punch you, punch you. Ah, I've been taken out. Skip punishments. Because it only costs one to skip, there's no reason why I couldn't just do this. So I'll start the fight. There you go. There's one dead. Um, oh, there's a sniper. Can we take your sniper rifle? Damn it. No, he, he actually knocked me out. Um, that would be good if I could actually take your sniper rifle. Although, there is an opportunity to do it now. No, no. Actually, what he does, he instantly hits you. You see that? He instantly hits you and takes you out. Oh, snipe rifle. There's a snipe rifle. There's a snipe rifle. It works. Snipe rifle does work. See that? Oh my good grief. This is amazing. It is a point and click adventure game. Use snipe rifle on man. Skip punishments. Ah, that's an interesting one. Right, so we need to keep looking around for more potential members. I'm not going to get any other reputations I don't think. I'm going to use all of these points to, to hire more. Um, you've got, you look like Ned Flanders. You're coming with me. Uh, no, no, no. Actually, no. We're, we're trying to go for similar looks. Right. Uh, look around here. Can't see anyone. I know there was uh, a couple of people suggested what we should do. We should get all of the uh, cast members, uh, all of the um, people involved for IV, uh, for inversion, and get them and escape with them and see if we can get them out of the prison. <laughs> That's not a bad uh, thing to try at some point. Aha! Here we go. You. Yes, both of you. So, shut and... Corley, is it? Corley, there we go. Right. So, you can go about your daily business. Don't need you. Could go in here. And... Oh, well, this is perfect opportunity to do a bit of farming. We'll pick this up. And then heal that, heal that, heal that, in here, and, oh, there's no psychologist in here. Um, oh, and there's a knife in the morgue. I didn't know that. Interesting, we'll pick up a knife then. And we'll end the fight. Because it's an end fight and not a surrender, we're okay. And there's a dead sniper. Interesting. I didn't know we'd be able to get that. Um, you're coming with me. Can't low. Yeah, look at this full cast member now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. I've actually went through the uh, metal detector. Right, well, I've got hold of a knife. I might as well use it. Let's just see how far I can go with this. And there we go. We'll skip the punishment. I was, I, I, that was a mistake on my part. I went through the metal detector. Okay, so... We need to just get a couple more people. It's gonna, it's gonna probably take a lot of points to get some more, um, and then we have to figure out the way we're going to escape. Now, I think a blitz attempt, perhaps round here, a long charge towards this, get the sniper rifle, and then charge down that way. Now, we could do it the other way, where we go round just straight at the bottom, but that's not as interesting, and that's why I'm not doing it. You're coming with me. Oh yes, look at that. 
full on. Look at this. Look at the look at the cast members we got going here. Fantastic. Right. I think, honestly, we're about right. There's no one else we can really get. So I'll whistle and everyone can come to me. What we're going to do now is it would be nice if we can get some sort of weapon. Now, the only weapon that I can think of... Hang on, there's a... There's a sniper, you see. I've told everybody to come to me. If we start taking this person out, there's Osborne standing around. You might not want to stand there, mate, because there's everybody coming towards me now. I think there's another cast member still to turn up. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got a couple more. There they are. Right. Hi, arm guard. And there we go. Right. I've got the snipe rifle. So, keep fighting. There's a snipe. One's dead. And two dead. Snipe rifle. And we've got a set of keys, so we can go through here. Oh, God. There's a snipe rifle. Oh! Oh, my good God. We've been taken out. Right. Keep legging it. Keep running. Keep running. And we've been taken out there as well. Right. We need to keep running. Get the snipe rifle. We're okay. We've got one that might be able to escape. Come on. Come on. And we're out. One's out. Two's out. Three's out. Um, it looks like... One's been dead. Rogers is killed. We'll take him off the list. Watsowski or something has been killed. And Cantlow and... Our original Felix. Sreeza. We will skip punishments because... We still... We still... Where's, where is he? He's here. He's still alive. You know what? This is open. I'm going to leg it. I'm going to leg it. I'm going to keep running. He can't see me. Come on. Come on. And we're out. Yes. Okay. So he was actually shot and taken out. <laughs> you say he was actually uh, shot and um, knocked unconscious by it. So I'm still having to try and run away from here. Now this guy... Yeah, we're not going to run. You know what? I'm going to end that... And we'll call it an escape. There's the people we managed to get out. A couple of people dead. There's the victims. Um, we managed to get out with our original one. But the others did manage to run away. Did you see all them dead ones? This is why sniper towers would have been extremely useful when we had that 12 people try to escape. Um, the two people that died, I think uh, two people were knocked out. One person was killed. Or maybe two people were killed by the sniper rifle. But there's definitely three shots that came out uh, from the top. And that managed to, uh, you know, incapacitate or kill uh, at least three people. And you saw the range on that bomb. When we were on the corner, it was like a sort of dead zone they couldn't see us. But if that sniper there, there was one sniper that was at the door, which we knocked out and took the sniper rifle. If they weren't there, if they were in the tower down the bottom, there'd be no way we can escape from that. So they're extremely effective. Extremely effective. Um... Either way, we managed to get out with our original person. There he is. And then we've got uh, one, two, three other people that managed to get out as well. These guys got killed along the way. And I believe I took out a couple from the squad as well. We just dismissed them because the game would last forever and blah, blah, blah. There you go. There is an escape from our prison. There's many other ways we could have done that. We could have tried, we could have tried to tunnel out. We could have done a full-on riot and got out via the front door. Even maybe stormed the armory because we don't have sniper towers in the center which we probably should have either way if you have any other ideas on how we can escape or have you done it yourself by all means let me know i'd like to see them i'd like to know the suggestions etc etc as always thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings